was a, a small consultant meeting uh, of the strategic committee of uh, the PNU uh, coalition movement uh, secretariat. The purpose of the meeting was to consult on the new constitution. As you know, this, the constitution has excited a lot of interests and passions, and we want to state our commitment that we are committed to a delivery of a new constitution as soon as possible this year in accordance with the read and down law and procedures. Uh, we in the committee were strategizing for now fast uh, to mobilize massively in all our constituencies uh, so that we can get a maximum number of Kenyans registering so that they can vote during the referendum. As you know, Parliament is going on recess on Thursday this week. So we are strategizing, or now we are going to involve the members of parliament as they go into recess uh, to ensure that they use the recess to mobilize their constituents, to register in large numbers uh, so that they can vote in the referendum. We are aware that the, <coughs> there are those who have said that they are going to vote no in the referendum. And we are also aware that there are many others who have said that they are also going to vote yes. But for you to vote yes or no, you will not be voting with a show of hands, you will not be voting by shouting like the way, the way we do in the parliament. You are going to vote using the voters registration card. So whether you are shouting in bars or out there that you are going to vote no or you are going to vote yes, until you get a voter's card, you will not be able to vote either yes or no. So the fundamental thing to do, the most critical thing to do if you want to vote either way, is to get a voter's registration card. And we are concerned that whereas the Muslims have said they are going to vote yes for the constitution, uh, many Christian leaders are still either not decided and some of them have come out to say they are going to vote no. We are aware of the consultations that have gone on between the president <coughs> and the religious leaders and we are very happy with the developments that are taking place uh, in those consultations. We as ourselves, as members of parliament, have also decided that we are either Muslims or Christians, and we should engage with the religious leaders where we come from to try to understand each other. Because it will be very dangerous for this country if we go into a referendum with the religious leaders uh, saying one thing and we as political leaders saying a different thing. So we have decided to be very patient with the religious leaders. We have decided to have a sitting. We have decided to continue engaging them. Try to accommodate them as much as the law permits uh, so that when it comes to voting at the referendum, we are singing from the same hymn book with them.